students i hope you all are very well with your book okay children in the last session i completed the third lesson native wisdom actually it's a wonderful lesson i hope you have understood it when we observe the comprehension there are three parts a b c i send pdf file for the answers let's move on next part that is grammar part today i am going to teach you about adjectives okay children you learned about adjectives in the last year and in previous year i think right let's revise it what are adjectives okay children observe the board the words that describe or modify a noun are a pronoun are called adjectives i repeat it once again uh, the words that describe or modify a noun or a pronoun are called adjectives okay children in a easy way we can remember like this also a word which tells more about noun and pronoun a word which tells more about noun or pronoun is called adjective okay children what is this here this is a board here right so what about its color it's green right this is a green board this is a green board up to the next one a rose is a beautiful flower up to the next one you know about hruday he is from your class 5 standard right so here it's an example why he is a bold boy here hruday is a bold boy because when mr suresh kumar uh, the education minister of karnataka visited dharwad he met him and spoke to him right so hruday is a bold boy and up to the next one rashmi is an honest girl thank you children before going to know about the adjectives first we should know about the noun you learned about it in your previous year i think what is noun then noun is a name of person place things and animals including birds right children up to the first sentence here then this is a green board which is noun here you should identify is there any thing animal person place what is there then okay here thing is there what is that that is board how is it it's green this is a green board how is board green observe here this is a noun the word which tells more about the noun is an adjective here this is noun about this word which word tells here or which word describes here green so that it is an adjective here getting children observe the next sentence rose is a beautiful flower how is rose it's beautiful getting children the word beautiful describes rose here rose is a noun getting children here the word beautiful tells more about the rose or describes the rose so it is an adjective here is it clear up to the next one ruda is a bold boy how is he he is bold the word bold tells more about him means a person getting children he is a person so it's a noun here this word tells about noun so that it is an adjective is it clear as the next one rashmi is an honest girl how is she honest not honest how to pronounce it honest it is silent here right okay how is she honest rashmi is a noun here so this word means the word honest to describe rashmi here or the word honest to tells more about the rashmi here so that it is an 
adjective here. Is it clear, children? Okay, observe this sentence here. These two sentences from your book, textbook, page number 25. Okay, children, uh, he took off his shoes. Getting? Uh, okay, uh, let's come to back. These all words are adjectives, right? Okay, I ask you some questions now. Close your book. If you have open, close it please. You have a book, right? I tell you that is your book. Whose book? Your book. I have a book here. This is my book. Whose book? My book. Okay, children, you think a friend of you brings a compass box. Different design are patterned are a different type of a compass box to the classroom. Okay, then when you look at it, what happens? How do you feel? You are attracted by it and it attracts you, right? So you ask permission from your friend and you take it in your hand. At the same time, unknowingly, another one friend of you come to you, you think. So he also look at it and asks you, whose compass box is this? Then what do you say? If your friend is boy, it is his compass box, you say, right? If your friend is girl, it is her compass box. Getting children? Her, his, you use that, right? Another example, children, you think, a group of students from your class or from your school go to another one school for any one competition. Competition of uh, singing, dance, anything it may be. Okay, after going there, they make you to sit in groups, you think. Okay, a teacher who comes with you asks you, whose school is this? If you know about that before only, you show that group and say it is their school. Whose school? Their school. Unknowingly, if your teacher go to the, that group only and asks a question, whose school is this? Then what do they say? They, say, they tell it is our school. It is our school. Okay, children, another an example. Uh, in your examination, you got a question, you think. Uh, write a paragraph on parrot. Okay, then how do you begin it? Maybe like this. Uh, parrot is a beautiful bird. It is green in color. Second sentence, right? Third sentence. Its beak is red in color. Whose beak? Its beak. Are you getting my point here? Here, your, my, his, her, their, are, its. These all words show that those belongs to something. Something belongs to someone. These all words show that something belongs to someone. This book belongs to me. That will be, book belongs to you. Getting children? Observe the board now. Uh, let's see the first sentence. He took off his shoes. Next one. What does your rainforest have that is worth seeing? These two sentences from third lesson. Yes. So here, whose shoes? His shoes. Whose rainforest? Your rainforest. Here, these words show possession here. So these are called possessive adjectives. What to say? Possessive adjectives. Getting children? Observe the next heading. Page number 25. A. Complete these sentences with the correct words from the box. Here, in the box, there are 
some possessive adjectives. So what to do here? Complete these sentences with the correct words from the box. Okay children, up to the first one. It's an example here. It is a bold robin. It suns its wings in the yard. What they have given here? It is a bold robin. It suns means rubs. It rubs its wings in the yard. Whose wings? Its wings. Is it clear children? Up to the next one. Keep dash books and pencil box inside the cupboard or else you will lose them. What is this sentence? Keep dash books and pencil box inside the cupboard or else you will lose them. Which word is suitable for this sentence here then? Uh, in the sentence only there is one clue. Observe little. What is there? You is there. That means here keep your books and pencil books is right. Right children? Observe the next one. When Rohit's parents go out of the town, he stays with the dash grandparents. Here also is there a clue. Whose grandparents? Whose grandparents? His grandparents. Why shall we use his here then? Here Rohit is a boy there. Right? So, his grandparents. Okay, children, after the next one. This is dash book. I can't give it to you. Here are two words remaining now. What are those? Her and an. So, better to observe the next sentence also. After we have finished playing, John and I will go back to dash houses. Here, observe properly. Here, two members are there. John and I. So, whose houses? Our houses. Getting children? Our houses. Which word remaining now? Her. So, we can use that here. This is her book. I can't give it to you. Why can't we use his here then? We can use the word is also, her also, are also. Three words also suitable here. But we want his for the third sentence. We want our for the fifth sentence. Getting children? Here no restriction because no clues. Here we want those two here only so that we should use her here. Are you getting children? What to write first one? Your books. And here, his grandparents. And the third one, this is, this is her book. Here, our houses. Is it clear children? Okay children, observe the next heading. Read these sentences. Observe the board. They passed through a dark, damp vegetation. And the next sentence is, The trails in the rainforest were small and narrow. Okay, children, here observe which is the noun then. Which is the noun here? I to, as I told you before, which is the place or person or animal. Observe. Vegetation is a place there. Okay, which words describe the vegetation or tells more about the vegetation here? Okay, here dark damp vegetation. What's the vegetation? Dark damp vegetation. These are adjectives here, right? But also here before the noun. These two adjectives appear before the noun. So that these are called attributive adjectives. Getting children? Up to the next sentence. Other trails in the rainforest were small and narrow. Here, which is the noun of the first. Identify it first. Which one? Two nouns.
nouns are there actually in this sentence? One is trails, another one is a rainforest. But two words are adjectives here, which are those small and narrow. These two words are, otherwise these two words tell us something about the something. About which word these words are saying here? About rainforest or about trails? Observe very properly. Narrow and small words belongs to trails. Where are those actually? Those are in the rainforest. Observe here children. Uh, these two words appear after the noun. In this sentence, these adjectives appear before the noun. So that those are attributive adjectives. But in this sentence, these two small and narrow. These two are adjectives. These two adjectives appear after the noun. So that these are called predicative adjective. Is it clear children? Observe the sentences here. They have given some sentences. Circle the adjectives. And what to do next? Say if they are predicative in bracket P. Means P indicates predicative and our attributive in bracket A is there. A indicates attributive adjectives. Okay children, here is an example. First one, the large wooden door creaked softly. Which is the noun here then? It's very easy. Door. Door is a thing here. Okay. Large wooden, these two words describe about the door there. So that these are attributive adjectives. Why? Be because these two words appear before the noun. Get it children? Observe the next one. What is that? Second one. Observe here the second sentence. The cake looks delicious. How is cake? Delicious. Which is the noun then? Cake is a noun. Looks is verb. You know very well. Right? So, this delicious word describes the noun here. Otherwise, it this word tells about the noun there. So, that it is an adjective. Right? You know about that. But, is it after the noun or before the noun? It appears after the noun. So, that what is this here then? This is... After the noun, predicate, you what write then? P, you should write it, P there. P indicates predicate, you getting children? Observe the next one, the play was fun and interesting. How was play? Here, play is a noun here, not a verb. I play, then it is verb. Here, the play, how was Play here, funny and interesting. This funny and interesting words describes the play. Describe the play or tells more about the play. So that these two are adjectives and these two appears after the noun. So that what is it here? Predicative or attributive. Uh, children, you should practice the spellings of these two words. Which are those? Predicative and attributive. And you should remember those words also. But sometimes you get confusion. If you practice then also you get confusion. So that I give you a clue there. Otherwise a trick. Alphabet. In alphabet first letter which one? Which is the first letter there? A. It begins with A. So attributive word also begins with A. First letter first before the noun. Before the noun, if we get the adjectives, those are attributive. One word you remember properly. Another one, automatically we get it. Getting children? Observe the sentence here. The play was funny and interesting. Uh, funny and interesting words appear after the noun. So, these are predicative. Observe the sec next sentence. Arun has gone home because he is unwell. Who is unwell? Arun and he. Both are same. Right? Here this is now and this is his pronoun. Getting children? So, after the noun or pronoun, this adjective is here. 
so that what is this then predicate you is it clear children after the next one those dark gray clouds are heading in this direction here which word is noun here you should identify it first i told you before only which is that clouds noun right here some words are saying are some words tells about clouds are describes the clouds which are those dark and gray so that these are adjectives these two appear these two words appear before the noun before the noun first a it starts with a then attribute you so that what to write here a a indicates attribute you okay children observe the last one the park was full of noisy groups of excited children here uh, you get little confusion i think because here three nouns we get there right in other sentences we got only one noun there because here but here three nouns are there so that you get confusion but observe very properly here park is also noun then groups is also noun then children is also noun but before the children absolute little what is there which type of children excited children right and before the group observe their noisy which type of groups noisy groups so that these two words are before the noun so that these are attribute you nouns what to write then a getting children observe the next page turn the page all of you let's move on next part that is vocabulary thank you children all of you observe the book but the animal in the forest could not be seen because they were camouflaged what do you mean by camouflaged here in the story the tourist is unable to see the animals and the birds because uh, they blend into the surroundings this is from third lesson right from the lesson only in the story the tourist is unable to see the animals and the birds because they blend into their surroundings the word to describe this is camouflage getting children here are some more words that are used in uh, relation to animals and nature here they have given on the table left side in left side they have given some words those are only camouflage so in right side they have given the meaning of those words okay children observe the first word canopy here the uppermost branches and leaves of trees which spread down like a roof this is called canopy what is that you think here is a tree and it is spread down like this getting children uppermost branches and leaves of trees which is spread down like a roof roof means you know ceiling getting children that is called canopy and up to the next sentence scavenge what do you mean by scavenge feed on dead animals that mean eating the meat of died animals eating the meat of died animals some animals eat uh, the died animals meat getting children observe the next one groom when an animal cleans itself or others using its mouth or limbs you know about it very well some animals cleans itself like this by using its what mouth means okay children itself they cleans its body sometimes it cleans other animals body also right and by using limbs also limbs means you got it before only in previous lesson right legs and hands by using using legs and hands they clean other animals body also you know about the monkey right those do that work that is called groom okay children nocturnal nocturnal what is that active at night some animals active at night 
those are not active in day time right which are those little thing okay children up to the next one 4h to look for food to look for food up to the heading next one complete the sentences with the correct words from the table whatever they have given the words in the table left side we should use those words and fill in these blanks are complete the sentences getting children after the first one they have given uh, an example here uh, the ulchor waited patiently for the leopard to leave so that they could scavenge on the remains of the deer he had killed and if you got it already scavenge means eating the meat of a dead animal getting children here ulchor had killed it actually to whom deer it was waiting okay it waited very patiently for whom leopard for what reason they could scavenge eat the meat of that animal died animal right children observe the second one what they have given here tiger cubs bond by wrestling with chasing and dash each other cubs means the baby tiger yes are baby lion here yeah? baby tiger tiger cubs bond by wrestling those usually wrestle then says and another one groom each other what they have given about groom when animals cleans its sorry cleans itself or others using its mouth or limbs that is groom so that uh, groom each other is right word here okay up to the next one we watched the bear sniff we watched uh, the bear sniff uh, the sniff the ground and dash for his favorite berries as you know bear likes uh, the berries yes its favorite food is berries so what it does then which word is suitable here for third one forage here this is food here which word belongs to food then forage to look for food so what to write here here second one grooming right and here third one what to write then forage and up to the next one on a full moon night we walked in the forest after dark to see if we could spot some dash animals at the night time some animals are very active i told you before only which word is suitable here then which word okay fourth one is nocturnal nocturnal your yeah. oh, very little space is there so children you write down yourself nocturnal okay then although we heard uh, the shrieks of the horrible sorry hornbills hornbills means a kind of bird we uh, could not spot them as they were flying up high in the dense dash about tree which word is to table there got it already i think which one canopy what is the meaning of that uppermost branches and leaves of trees which spread out like a roof right so canopy is a suitable here got it children okay children whatever you will learn to today i hope you understood those all concepts if you have any doubt uh, call me in particular time uh, read uh, repeatedly and watch videos repeatedly definitely you can get it okay children based on today's session i give you some homework note it down observe the board write two sentences using the possessive adjectives write two sentences using the attributive adjectives write two sentences using the predicative adjectives 
write two words uh, that are used in relation to animals and nature. Uh, write new words one time in four line notebook. Okay, children, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.